right, so this is what it's looking like right now. <laughs> not, not the best. The stakes are literally twigs, so I've just picked up really fast. Stuck them in the ground as fast as I can because it started tipping it down. Uh, come up here. This is just tied on to branch very loosely. There's no uh, ridge line at all. And then that is just a Y stick that's going either side of the tree. And I've managed to just loop one of the holes onto it. But yeah, not the tidiest job. But it does. But that was difficult to get up with all this wind. Okay, so I was just about to put the blanket on the floor to sit down and I picked out some fur and I found out the underside of them is bone dry so it saves the blanket getting wet because it's cotton so I'm just going to chuck that on top now yeah. that's on top there oh. and I got somewhere to chill Okay, so I was just sitting here in my little den and I've just found some edible mushrooms, some different type to what I found earlier. These ones, if I'm not mistaken, are Puccini mushrooms. So let's go have a look at them now. There's a couple of them. But if, uh... Oh, it's got a nice long stem. Oh, I've just ripped its head off. But, look at that, that stem, with that head on it, it's a mushroom right there, so that's the one, I'll keep that, there's another one right over here, okay let's, let's get this one, dog in the background, ah, I've done the same again, but it's managed to stay on, look at that. We got them two there. Wind's picking up now. That wind has just picked up something ferocious. It's actually ripped out one of my stakes. So the top is just leaning on me at the moment. I have to pack up and go in a sec anyway. But I managed to forage two different types of mushrooms. Managed to put the top up in the rain real quick. Have a little chill out as well. And now I'm gonna go back and uh, get those mushrooms cooking. So I'm not gonna turn the camera around right now because it's just gonna get blasted with rain. <laughs> the top is leaning on me, so I have got to get it down pretty fast um, and then get back to the car. I have no clue what that is.
was on my way out. Not only did I get two massive handfuls full of blackberries, I found these mushrooms as well. But I've got two nice ones right here. So I'm gonna nab them up, uh, do another research when I get back to make sure they are edible, but I'm pretty sure they are. Those are some nice edible mushrooms. So there's the one there, put him back there for a sec. And then got the other one right there as well. So they're going in the bag. So I've got so I've got three Puccini mushrooms, I got two of these ones, and I got the birch tree mushroom and two handfuls of blackberries. So that is perfect. Great day of foraging. I only came out for a hike as well. Okay, so we've got those mushrooms in there with some garlic and thyme. Just gonna have some salt and pepper. Uh, some lemon juice to it and I'm doing it with some tagliatelle pasta and I'm going to put some cream through all of it so mushrooms, garlic, thyme, lemon juice, cream with pasta cream next and that's done 